is Kenny Choi, where parts of downtown San Rafael were underwater. Kenny. Juliet, that's right. The conditions are a little bit better right now. The water has receded a little bit. About an hour ago, the water level was about right here. Now it has uh, gone down quite a bit. Uh, this is first in B Street. It was a lot worse. Take a look at some of the video from earlier this afternoon as cars tried to pass through this street. San Rafael police also blocked off several streets nearby because it was impassable, impassable because of the extreme flooding. We did find some people walking around town just kind of curious to see what was happening out here on the streets of San Rafael. I really, I'm actually enjoying it a little bit, you know, because we didn't have rain for so long, but and I, I am prepared with my galoshes. I know it's bad, but we don't get much water and we really need it right now. It's, it's really nice to know that at least our reservoirs will get a nice little gulp. All right, so well, it's not just the uh, city streets that are flooded. We also uh, saw on Highway 101 as we are driving through Corta Madera, uh, some lanes blocked off there due to the extreme flooding. Back out here live, this car uh, just put onto this uh, tow truck not too long ago. We saw San Rafael police checking to see whether anyone was inside because that car was actually in the middle of the road. Uh, before that, it was actually off to the side, so the water actually made that car move into the middle of the street. And also over here on this side, that car is now parked on the sidewalk. It was uh, not too far out from uh, there before, so you can see how the water has uh, shifted some of these cars, and so making it for a dangerous situation uh, here in San Rafael. Guys, back to you. Yeah, Kenny, it's certainly deceiving when that water gets high. And we know authorities are telling people to avoid driving as if possible. Uh, what are folks saying about these driving conditions that are still out there on the road? Right, so one of the uh, dangerous uh, things that can happen on the road is that you can't see some of the hazards like potholes. We actually ran into one mm -hmm. that caused a flat tire for us. But you, there are all these different situations with the trees coming down. They're just saying try to avoid the roads if you can and stay home. Uh, we also talked to some drivers trying to pass through who took their chances. But after getting through, they did say that they felt like they they weren't going to make it through. Yeah. So you just never know if you can avoid those uh, flooded streets. Well, case in point with your live shot there. Kenny, thank you.